I would dare to describe myself as a creator. Not as much an artist, although I do work with moving images, words and design, but rather just a creator. And I think we all are some sort of producers, inventors, makers, and it's a beautiful task. However, I found myself, I find myself um, caught in this cage of expectations that I have for myself or that I think other people have for me, especially on YouTube, ironically. YouTube is my only unprofessional platform where there shouldn't be any rules or where I should be the maker of my own rules. But weirdly, this no rule things apparently holds me back. You may have noticed that I'm uploading less and less videos. Um, there are many reasons behind that, but the most apparent one is that I constantly feel like nothing is good enough or that my ideas don't match the pattern of my old videos. And I figured that I might be afraid of change. I guess I subconsciously consider lunatic poetry a brand and there's this brand book like I don't know CNN <laughs> that I need to follow. I started YouTube with AJ Show in 2008. Everything on that channel matches. It is completely different from what I do now, but it's a closed chapter and it is um, it makes sense that I'm not the way I was before. In 2011 I've opened this account. I've had like a broad idea of what I wanted it to be and I've changed it up a little over the past four years, um, but not drastically. To be honest, I'm not the person I was in 2011. I've changed twice just in the past year. I mean, you probably could not put a finger on what exactly has changed, but I can certainly notice it. Therefore, it's natural that I can't make the content that I was making a year or three years ago. I don't think like that anymore. I am past the style I used to have. I've experienced uh, new things. I've changed um, my perspective and I figured some stuff out. But why am I still playing this trick boss that denies all my ideas and is not open for any progressive change? Basically, I only make video mo montages from my travels because they're a safe choice, because they are me in this moment and they are me in the past and they're not too bad. And I've come to creating things that are not too bad. You might ask yourself, why am I telling you this? But this is the exact example of how my doubts appear. There are so many obstacles and questions before I make anything. Um, I ask myself if anybody's going to be interested, if, if it's stupid to say something, if it's funny enough, and nonetheless, if there is anything I can really actually share. I often feel like I shouldn't be sharing my um, thoughts or my ideas because I'm so lost. You know, what am I to know? I guess I'm going through a second existential crisis. I thought that I've solved everything three years ago when I my first one appeared, but it turns out that there is still so much more to be solved. I find myself numb and confused, waiting for some missing piece without having to actively look or search for a solution for whatever seems to be the problem. And it's hard to fake something that you're not and it takes more energy to script something that you would have said in the past than say or do something that you feel like doing or saying in that exact moment. I'm running from one thing to another to totally different things but at the same time I'm still demanding of myself some certain type of logic. For some stupid reason I want my videos to make like sense, to, to have some sort of coherency and not and keep the randomness at minimum, although the random factor is very, very apparent in my videos. Therefore, I end up doing nothing rather than making a mess. I don't know what exactly is the purpose um, or the message of this video. Maybe that it's fine. Maybe it's just a reminder to myself that I want to keep doing this because I like it and that maybe I need to do it no matter what I do. Uh, I've been doing sim 
things like this and similar things to this for years now and because I feel like I should have some sort of experience I demand of myself to give some quality and content and diversity um, to people but maybe it shouldn't matter maybe I need to let myself disappoint or at least show how the process of thinking and creating isn't always as perfect as the outcome sometimes looks, um, seems to be. As adults we are thought that we have to show people the work they really like. Everything else we have to keep for ourselves um, or dispose. We feel this pressure that our work has to be validated by ourselves if no one else when we know that we can do better. But this is not the reality. It's not the actual portrayal of how things get made. They're sometimes bad, stupid, weird, sometimes they don't make any sense. Um, they can show how imperfect we are as human beings, as creators, as artists, um, thinkers, ta uh, talkers, writers, video makers or whatever else. I think just the rarity of a product makes it good, but that means that it's rarely really good. In order to make something good, we sometimes have to make things that are bad. This video, for instance, isn't good. It's maybe average, but it deserves to be uploaded or published because it's real. I want to be real. All I want to give you is just myself because that is all I can give. And I am sometimes good, sometimes I'm bad, sometimes I'm average, but most often I am just a confused, lost, but curious <laughs> little question mark. And I'm going to end this video with a quote from my favorite writer, Jack Kerouac, who said I had nothing to offer to anybody except my own confusion. Whether you'll take it or not, from now on I promise to be 100% me at the given moment.